welcome to the channel that's right i got the music going it is a cool brisk morning and i'm getting ready to throw up some walls went to town got all the stuff i need had to buy a t-square i didn't ever have a t-square but now i got a t-square that's gonna be hard to lose and i'm waiting on uh ivy's family factorum to show up I think it's his father-in-law showing up but he is going to load up all of this scrap metal and yeah, we're gonna have to get in here and cut some of these trees back uh, there's a lot of copper steel gets the dryer uh, you know what I need to pop the lid off that dryer and see if there's any money down in there I bet there is let's go do that he's gonna take that lawnmower uh, yeah my hope is to get all this cleaned up back here. There's a couple air conditioners in there. There's some good weight. Let's go look at this dryer here in a second. Well, I'm probably going to have to take a side off. But looking down there, I see a bunch of quarters. And there's probably some cash in there as well. Looks like I got to take that off. I don't know how I get to the bottom one. I'll just rip it. Rip it good. Do -do 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 -do. But what sucks is the bit that I need to put the sheetrock up. I was trying to get these screws out and it fell in there. How oh, the heck? That dude's all the way down. He might have come out the bottom. Man. Well, how do I get myself into these shenanigans? All right, let me get a screwdriver and see what I can do here. All right, I got these two bolts out. Hopefully that's it. Oh, yeah. I would like to get this uh, barrel out of here for a burn pit, man. Drill a few more holes in that. I know that's going to reduce the weight of it a lot. Right, let's look. Oh, I see quarters. Get out of my way. There's a quarter. Ah. There's a bunch of pennies and change there. I don't see any currency. Let's see how we what we gotta do to get this. Oh, I'm not even sure this will be good for the Well, what a rip off. There ain't nothing in it. I seen that post on Facebook. There's like eight hundred dollars in there. Well there ain't. There is some more a bunch here. Let's just see what we got. Alright. So we're up to 35.41 cent. Ah, trying to balance here. Uh -huh. 51 cent. Let me try to hold you all steady. It stinks inside here. I think a snake was in here. All right, 51. There's a quarter. There's some pennies. There's some more pennies. Oh, look at the dimes. 61, 71, 81, 91. And if you count the pen on oh, a quarter, we're over a dollar, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there wasn't much to this like I thought there'd be, but I got the barrel out. Let's check this belt. Because this is like a 30 year old dryer. I guess that's the belt. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That should be all right. Cool. And then we could just... Now I got to get this bit out of here. Let me see. Well, I haven't still... I haven't retrieved the bit yet. But guys, I just saw something that made me really be thankful. Well, you see this, man. Now, the story on this dryer is I wired it. I mixed up some wires and blew the motor or something. It was no good. I had to go buy a new one. What I'm about to show you is a prime example of sometimes things happen for a reason. This is the dryer vent. Look at that, guys. Look at that. The wall. That's why the bit didn't come out. Is this stuff I bought? I know DeWalt wasn't around. Wow, 
everything is so clogged in there. And that could be some of that from, from being out here, but I don't think those were, that's got burn marks on it. That was blocking that. Wow. All right, I still don't have the bit. If I knew I would have had to take 90% of this apart, I'd never messed with it. Now I gotta get that bit out of there, but that's probably why it didn't fall. Okay. Oh, I still can't get it. I got the BACB, the big ass crowbar. I think I'm gonna go buy a new bit. Y'all enjoyed that, didn't you? Y'all just thoroughly enjoyed that sitting up here on this old stump. Well, I didn't. Well, after some jiggling and wiggling and beating and prying and cussing, there she is. Yeah, a stinking Phillips head because I gotta do sheetrock screws. They don't put them in squares that I know of. I got it out. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'll do with that, if anything. Be a good planner. So I'm gonna keep it around. Get them plastic things off there. Looks like they're just a couple of screws. Yeah. All right, I gotta get work to uh, hang a sheetrock, man. Got all day to play around for a dollar sixteen. I don't. Oh, this thing. Okay, I'm gonna start on this wall here, uh, and now so I'm gonna be shuffling all this crap from one end to the other. I could take that ladder out of here. I don't think I'll need that. But normally on on a wall, and I've done quite a bit of sheetrocking, but I hate it uh you would start on the top but being my back's bad and everything and it really don't matter because it's a shed i'm going to start put the pieces on the bottom and well they're going to come out to this is 10 feet so they're going to come out eight feet and have a two two foot strip so i'll put these horizontal put this one last strip vertical use less don't have to do any more cutting and that's about six six foot three well it's probably closer to seven i gotta measure it again and uh yeah i'm only gonna come up to about here top of this because i still gotta put the ceiling on normally you'd put the ceiling on first it's better but i don't i'm not putting sheetrock up there oh that would kill me <laughs> but no I, i'm not gonna put sheetrock up here if i put anything up in the future probably 10 or something like that but i don't think i'm gonna put anything up there for now so I'm going to start on this wall. Shouldn't take me very long at all. And we're going to leave this mess here for last. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'll probably just put a vertical piece here. No, horizontal piece here. I don't know what that measurement is there. Four. Yeah, it's not quite eight feet. It's about seven feet. So I'll just zip that window out. And then I'll, I'll have plenty of scrap. Uh... I think I'm just going to cover this up as well because it's going to have a gap if I don't cover this all up. Yeah, it shouldn't take, hopefully I'll get this done today. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. And as far as the floor goes, I don't really have any plans to put anything on the floor. This stuff's pretty good and it's durable. It sweeps well. 
so we're just gonna leave it for now i, I basically just want to i just want to get these walls up so I get some benches made. No, I'm not gonna start building the benches before I put the sheetrock up. That would be, that'd be foolish. Then you gotta notch around, all that. I ain't doing that. Nobody, I've never heard of that. So I heard that suggested. But again, I don't wanna put, you know, I, I wanna make it as simple as I can. It isn't gonna be complicated. Just a couple of short, short work benches here, probably this height. And back in this corner, maybe a little desk where I put a computer. And that might be where I put the laser. I don't know. We're just going to get going. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. It's going to be a lot of tool storage. All right, let me get busy. I've been yapping and, and, and goofing off too long. All right, I got the first sheet hung. And at eight feet, it hung too far. So I had to cut it. So now I got the second one to go up top. And then we'll cut the uh, vertical one. I'm not going to do time lapses or any of that. I'll just check in with y'all periodically, see how far I get. Uh, Anson just left, and them from the Ivy's Family Factorum, and they dropped the trailer. They're going down to Drew's to look and see what metal he's got. Then they're going to start loading up. I'll be glad to get rid of that stuff. Well, we got some folks hard at work over here. What do we got going on here? I'm stealing your stuff. <laughs> stealing hey man it's a gift you can have all this all i've talked about for years is getting all all this out of here so you guys are doing me a favor all right we got ivy's family factorum here this is all dad stuff yeah raul there's hard at work gotta get he's just grabbing it you gotta get the twigs and the trees out of the way so all of it's doing me a favor so i appreciate your help if you guys haven't checked out their channel be sure to go check it out i'll put a link in the description got a lot of good stuff going on over there yeah, yeah, definitely appreciate you no problem man i appreciate y'all getting this stuff all right all i got left for this wall is the one strip there so we're going to get that cut uh that is about 21 inches so that will leave me another piece to go on that wall we'll do the same thing over there uh I opted instead of going to the top, I went all the way up. That way when this, whatever I put here, it'll just you know, give it a little extra protection there, insulation. All right, got the one wall done. It's taking me forever, but I got it done. Doesn't look too bad. Ain't got to look great. I like the, you know, seems to be a little tighter, but those are factory edges so those are gonna be but that isn't it's good enough I, like i said i ain't type i ain't taping nothing it's just gonna be a shop it's gonna be covered with doodads and stuff we got some progress going on over here hard at work i'll be glad to get this stuff out of here all right guys look at this that's how much stuff was behind this shed 16 foot Woo, all i got yeah i gotta come in here with a rake i'm gonna keep this cleared we might even put a new some more chickens over here i don't know one thing at a time <laughs> appreciate it sir you're welcome oh, thank you thank yep. you again guys yeah. go check out their channel they live right down the street from me they're my neighbors yeah maybe six minutes down yep. the road yeah ivy's family factorum yep factotum Factotum. Yeah. Oh, why don't you people name stuff normal? Like dog man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Well, it actually means the uh, uh, employee with many professions. Okay. So, and that's what we do. We, we have a lot of things that we do. Well, I just learned something. Yeah. All right. There we go, but man. I'll be glad to get rid of this. Dad's the scrap man, so. Yep. Yeah, you he got the metal scrap. He, he's the one to talk to, not me. There you go, guys. <laughs> if you're in the area and you got. If you bought a piece of land like most of us did, and it's full of junk, junk yeah, Maybe. call that thing. Call Raul. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, I appreciate this. Yeah, thank you. All right. There she goes. Boy, am I glad to get that stuff out of here. And got the mower out of there. And it's got to be at least probably 1,200 pounds. So he get a little bit of money out of it, but he's, he does blacksmithing, so a lot of that he's, he can use. That's cool. All right, pretty much what's left is just garbage. Get rid of these tires. I think they said they wanted these tires.
tires. Uh, and then I got like PVC stuff like that over there. So I'll get in here and get the rest of this chopped out. What well, they did, they cut most of them trees out of here, so that's good. And PVC and stuff to go to the dumpster. But man, I'm glad to get this stuff out of here. Too many years. And I've just been tossing metal in here back and forth. And I'm gonna, it'd be a good little area for another chicken pen. Or maybe extend theirs. I don't think I want any more chickens, but yeah. Well, I pretty much quit what I was doing in here and I was over here with them. Let's go see. I think I already made a clip of it. I got my lunch in the microwave. Right, let's see. Yeah, we got that one mall done. I think I'm going to eat lunch. Because i got to sit for a while. My back's about shot. I work so long, the back starts hurting, I stop. So that wall, it come out all right. So now i got to move all this crap over there, over here. And do that wall i am gonna try to get that done i doubt it's gonna be in this video because i'm gonna sit here and edit while i do eat lunch and maybe tomorrow i didn't get a good early start that's the problem i didn't start early enough and that's it's it's so cold in the morning that man it's hard to get out here early in the morning then you got the same problem in the summer you got to get out early in the morning but you got to quit by afternoon because it gets too hot. So I think in the morning I'll go and get the rest of the, I'll get a couple more sheets of this foam board and we'll try to get as much of this put up as we can. And I'm going to tell you what, that stuff is not lightweight. I don't care what they say on the label. All right, it's probably just me. I'm <laughs> it's heavy to me now. So, and I'll have enough there out of the, I, I'll have the exact same piece on the other side that'll go vertical so there won't be a lot of waste there uh we'll just see what we get here probably just one piece across that won't be hard at all just two pieces that will be pretty easy so all right guys well i'm gonna go ahead and end this video uh i don't have anything going the rest of the week that i know of so We'll get it going, get this thing, get the walls on. I'm, I'm probably not done today. I might hang another sheet or two, but I gotta go rest for a while. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Ivy's Family Factorum. I think I got that right. That'll again be in the link, uh, description. Happy trails. Who do we got over here? We got Rooster in her warm straw. Yeah, and look at you. Well, you're in the shadow. Let's get you out of the shadows. Haven't you lived in the shadows long enough? Yeah, you're a good girl. I don't know where them other two lazies are. Did you get did you get petted by somebody? You did, didn't you? You got straw all over your lips. Wait a minute. Dogs don't have lips. There they are.